here we are. What's up, guys? Be here for a good while. <clears throat> Maybe some of the restreamers will have this up on their board instead of uh, trying to find violent protests like they always do. Not the violent protests, but you know what I mean. Crazy craziness in the background. They don't like restreaming stuff like this. I'm on my phone. Give me a sec. So they have speakers speaking. It's good to see this place have uh, people in it at this time of night. I'll walk around. I'm gonna grab my chair too, so I can just sit and not be in people's way. <clears throat> but you see all the people at the Speedway, they're giving speeches. Um, 
I got the um, the little I got the jacket on. The symbol from the original days still. Cup Foods doesn't look open anymore. They tried it again today. Um, there's people over here that are repainting into the street because the, they cleared out, the, the Cup Foods cleared out the, the flowers and people brought more flowers back. Um, and then um, we're painting in the street. And so today when you saw the uh, body cam footage, this is where the, the van was. This is where that, that it used to be just a white, um, I mean, there's spray paint on it, but that's where uh, you see the police officer walking up to uh, the car. That's where it was parked. It was leaked today. It wasn't released, it was leaked. By the way, this is going to be us. <laughs> it won't be, uh, if anything, 7 Eleven will put their logo over it now. But Speedway was bought out by 7 Eleven today as well, ironically. 7 Eleven is the goat of Portland, holding it down for everybody. I shared it, um, the, the leaked body cam footage. So I'm saying, uh, I think I, lo I lost a lot of algorithm. A lot of the algorithm um, over time, it's gone to Portland, so my posts aren't seen as much by um, the, the, even though I, we have a big following, my posts aren't seen very often because um, the attention has been in Portland. Um, so it's tough to keep that. I'm telling you that algorithm, that social media algorithm is, uh, is tough. But I shared it earlier, the body cam footage. So if you want to go find it, just exit this video and go watch. It's on my, uh, it's on my profile. Can't hear with the music playing. Actually, I'm gonna go get my chair. I got a new chair. That way, I don't have to be in people's way. And I'll, I'll get up and walk around too, how we always used to, kind of like back in the old days. But we're in here. I'm gonna be in here for a few hours tonight. We'll see how long. Looks like we have more work to do inside of here. And gotta get some more attention. They're trying it. They're trying to both take the uh, the barriers away at the ends of the street. The cup foods tried to reopen today. And we had uh, body cam footage um, leaked today. I'll go right back, guys. I'm just grabbing my chair so that way I have a place to sit. And no, it's not my Cabela's chair. That still went to the Red Cross tent. Just like in the GIF. Yeah! Chair out. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk up to the group.
put the chair out and sit. And we can listen to what they gotta say. And then I'll, of course, I'll get up, walk around, make sure you guys see everything. But we got people back in here. They got people at the gates now too, actually. Some of the ones that we've seen, we saw from the beginning are back. People are back. Uh, and we're in here. I'll also try to answer your guys' questions quietly too as, uh, as we listen. Hi, Melanie. Make sure you guys share this video out. Let's get some more eyes back in Minneapolis. Um, this is the Cub Foods tried to reopen today. I missed supper tonight. I had no, I actually had a, some chicken. I had some chicken earlier, but it's not going to be a supper night. I'm going to be here. Nope, Cub Foods is back. They tried it and it's closed. But they're gonna, they've been trying it. This is for um, the people. There was the Cub Foods tried to reopen, and then the Cub, the body cam footage was leaked today. Um, so there's people just here, and we're just we brought chairs. I, I had my chair, so we brought chairs, and people are speaking kind of similar to similar to the lock-ins here. Maybe we'll get some more couches back in here again. They thought there were people lost sight. I think we lost we lost sight of the, the message for a little bit there. It's only it hasn't even been that much time. Can you guys hear the the microphone? Okay, the speaker. Can you guys hear them? All right. I'll get closer if I have to. You yeah, guys did a good job. So the, the Cub Foods has a long history of problems. Um, the people that own it. Um, you'll have to ask people from the community that under know it more than me. I can't, I don't know uh, the facts about that Cub Foods. But and in recent... Um, recent posts and stuff I see all the time that there's that Cub Foods hasn't um, hasn't been good to the community here so we'll have to wait alright sounds good thanks guys Turn it up if you can't hear it. Turn your volume up. Put it on your TV. You know, I don't want to get in people's way. I'll get closer. I'll go up a little bit. Oh, shit. But put it on your TV if you need to, or a bigger, a bigger a device. I didn't even notice. A dog's like, turn that, turn that song off right now, or take me home. 
take me home right now. <laughs> Thank you. Day one. Oh yeah, that car got loud. I couldn't hear it, so I had to move over a little closer. Photographer.
Between speakers, that's when I can get up. You guys hear him in the background. I'm not typing, those are my moderators that when they you know, see messages on that thing, it's not from, it's from my mods. They've been pretty what's up. Still in a comedy show, uh, but there's a video that we're doing the investigative work ourselves in the beginning of the YouTube, it's a month and a half. There's a YouTube video out there called Minneapolis Police Department Refused to Investigate No Murder of Murphy Ranks. Look it up, watch it. Oh, it was my not shoot himself and the crowds that were there were yelling for an ambulance make sure you turn oh, make sure you turn the phone notifications phone. on for when mercado media goes live i'm so only going live from here <laughs> so if you don't have notifications on ensure those are on if you have questions of how to do that just ask um people in the chat they'll be able to help you our, our audience has grown on the media page significantly so that's why we're able to go live from here now to get the message out kind of want to take my personal account back but we are in minneapolis if you guys are from other parts of the country we still have our uh, our sanctuary we haven't lost it at all we uh the people we uh we had our work for it been here defending it for a week i think i think it was a week we had to defend it we defended it with our camera, with the news. There was a barrier here, and then the barrier got moved out and I'll just kind of go down there. The medical tent's over there. I'm not gonna film that, can't film medical tents. I haven't been out here at a nighttime in a while. And I'm gonna walk up the, the businesses are open. the other side quick for you guys so you guys can get an idea of like how big our uh, if you're new how big our um, area is it's just a uh, it's a block a block in four directions So they want to get rid of the these barriers here. That's what they want to do. Not the, the police, I think, or it's the word. I want to get rid of that. So there's a bob fight over that. <laughs> it's goofy.
Feeling good. It's a walk. Someone said I'm on woke. That's what's up. Maybe uh, the woke bears can see that it's not all, not everywhere is all. Um, I don't know. I just think it's ironic. Minneapolis, where we're the, I mean, we were faced. We faced the police with nothing. We didn't have shields. We didn't have um, leaf blowers. Uh, I mean, we just kind of we kind of got our ass kicked. Um, but we don't have any. I don't see. I've, I haven't seen an uh, altercation with uh, the police with the movement and the police um, in, in, a, in months. It's been, it's just, this is, it is what it is in Minneapolis here with it. Um, the movement actively uh, um, turns away agitators, especially in the north side community of Minneapolis. They, they, uh, I shared a couple articles and pictures of that community. They weren't allowing anything up there. So we got this here in Minneapolis. We've had it. It was fought for, though. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't given. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, we got a good-sized crowd here tonight. some of the barriers still on this end. It says I can park inside of here. No, I do. I'm parking here. Oh, yeah, I got to get this painting. I've all, a lot of people missed it. It says George Floyd Square. May 25th, 2020. And then we still have our, um, uh, our barriers are still being guarded by volunteers. They have hand washing, they have hand washing stations, um, maps at every entrance. So if you're new, um, you know where you're going at every entrance. They have a hand washing station, an entrance. Um, behind me, there's a, you saw, as I'm not gonna, there's people there. The volunteers, you obviously don't wanna film the volunteers. Uh, but they have met coronavirus, um, like little mini checkpoints at every entrance. And I'll show you the other one. If, you're, uh, if, you're, if you want something to do tonight, then <laughs> come on down here. I've been trying to say for weeks that this is a place you can come to anytime you want. Entrance. 
the one that I use to enter and exit is this one. And there's a little flower thing set up I'll go to and then I'll walk back. This is like the one residential section of the uh, sanctuary where people live. Um, there's, a, there's maybe like four, um, three houses on that street where people actually live. Um, these are businesses, um, businesses, but this part of it, people live. Um, so they have like a little mini, I'll show you there. They'll see, they, they have like a little security gate. And, and of course the people that live in here can come and go whenever they want. It's been, uh, it's almost kind of like a nightly block party for the community here. And then this house um, takes care of this memorial that they have set up. It's um, kind of Jamaican themed. So let's see what they got, let's see what they got going on. It's all about the vibes. Brother, I imagine that everyone could love and show each other respect. Oh, I need That's cool. And then you see it at this end here where the church is, that's the one that I drive into. They, uh, somebody's standing there, and then all day, um, it's during the daytime, it's different volunteers, at nighttime, different volunteers. But they open that little purple thing, um, it's a gate, they slide it open, you drive on in. You got, you got a hand washing station, a port john of course, we don't go near those. Um, and a coronavirus spot with hand sanitizer. But all the people that live in here, they, uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty about it. <laughs> They're pretty about what's happening here. So. If there was anybody against it, I would gladly talk with them. But um, the overall consensus in here is uh, they're they're with it. So. That's what I'm saying. I mean, the people hang out out front of their house and they chill, and they can listen to the speakers that speak. I drive my vehicle inside of here now and park in here. Um, it was uh, it was earned it was uh we had to earn it though this this uh this little memorial here wasn't uh definitely wasn't given yeah people can come and go i could leave right now if i want i could just end the stream and leave if i wanted to um you can come in right now if you wanted to um it's 24 hours you guys see cars still so like the road like i said it's not like it's a big space like that road's still all operational to that point where that car turns. Um, you can still, but you, like I said, it's not like you can't drive in here if you absolutely need to. So it's not like it's shut off to traffic completely, just in, um, obviously you don't drive um, along certain areas of here, but I mean, you can go cut through the parking lot if you need to. Um, there's no really reason to drive through this section here, so. I personally don't, yeah, it's, it's good to me. And then I put some more flowers, new fresh flowers today. Oh, by the way, hold on. Just for a little icing on the cake. Um, if you guys, people that still think it's like not gonna stay how it is. I think they might be trying to make it smaller. But, so that's a that's a fight, but um, it's uh, it's like it's not going anywhere.
Some businesses are open in here and some are closed. Um, Speedway is not open. The Cub Foods tries to open, but it fails. But um, other businesses in here are open. That is one happy boy. Look at the good boy. Another hand for you wonderful people showing up and letting us pack this horrible dose on you. Good to see you. Good to see a dog in front. Very white. Already off the no, Speedway. <laughs> Speedway's done. Uh, I think the person I miss the most during quarantine is my father. <laughs> and he's not even that good. He's not even that good. You can see the haircut. You can see his work. I don't know what's happening over here, but he did that to me. <laughs> After four months of absence. <laughs> I want to know, I miss him so much, and I shouldn't miss him because he's the most unprofessional human being I've ever met. I've been seeing him since I was 15, I still don't know his hours. <laughs> I've gotten her at 8 a.m. and midnight. How does that make sense? <laughs> his hours just should say, don't worry about it. He's weird too. He used to do this thing where like anytime he would line up my massage, he would put a finger on my like lip like this. He would put a finger on my lip and his face would be like this close. And I'd try not to breathe on his finger and make this more awkward than it is. And you know, like life is short. But when you power put the finger in your mouth, life is forever. It's too long. It's, it's too intimate, it's too sexy, it's so sexy, I use it on my girlfriend now. And she loves it. She's like, ooh, where you learn that? I'm like, I'm farmer, I'm cool, don't ask questions. But my next move, I'm gonna rub my dick on his elbow and pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> before because I'm not a monster. And then he started wiggling his head. And that's cat language from about to launch a that shit. And he jumped full momentum towards my penis. And luckily I've taken some salsa dances and lessons in the past. I have a tiny but powerful hip. I moved my hip to the left. And that is the story of how I slap magic in the face of the dick. <laughs> They say you cannot establish alpha with cats. I did. I did it out to this one. He has so much respect for me now. I came home the other day and he said, Salam alaikum, father. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to travel again. The last place I traveled to was Utah. And I don't want to die like that. I don't want to be in my deathbed thinking, oh no, that's my last travel space. Anybody here been to Utah? <laughs> you have, sir? How was it? How was your experience in Utah? Very white? And that's the white guy saying that. This is how white Utah is. <laughs> sir, Utah, so, Utah is like uh, if Saudi Arabia was polite. <laughs> 
Oh my god, dude. Drink alcohol in Utah. They don't, uh, they take God <laughs> way too seriously. And they have multiple wives. I felt like I was hanging out with my cousins. I was like, man, this is home, sweet home. Are we offended that I'm making fun of Utah? Is that a punch in the ass? Utah. Top Utah. Top Utah. The widest, weirdest fucking place I've ever been. Nice people, though. <laughs> Utah people are guys. I asked a stranger, a complete stranger, I said, hey man, I want to eat something and experience Utah. Uh, do you have any recommendations? And he took some time to write down not one but ten places, and number one was Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, I can't trust the rest of this list. <laughs> and so I went to Provo. Is that, is that, am I saying that right? Is the person from Utah leaving? Did I offend him? Sneaky Utah shit. Uh, <laughs> I went to a place called Provo and uh, to do stand up. And uh, it was, it was, man, it was, it was white. It was so white, I knew I was the first Yemeni person to ever step foot there. I felt like a explorer. I felt like the Christopher Columbus of my people, minus the atrocities. I took notes like an explorer. I wrote down today I discovered a land full of very pale Indians. I have found no evidence of spices. I don't want to touch it. I discovered a magical place the locals refer to as Buffalo Wild Wings. Those that are able to hear what he's saying, tell the people that can't hear what they can do to hear it. I don't know if it's a uh, device or what. But plenty of people are able to hear it. Hey, dude, that was funny as hell. Good shit. <laughs> a lot of Utah jokes. I'm gonna walk around. I gotta plug in my. I gotta plug in my thing. I'm gonna walk around. I'll figure it out. I don't know what's going on. Volume up. <laughs> yes. Um. Who is taking bets on when they're rioting? We'll start. Damn, you're in the wrong stream for that one. And I filmed riots, but I think you'll be looking for a while. I gotta plug something in quick. Fish. <laughs> Bruh. What's up? If you guys haven't, please share the stream. It um, helps significantly. about to say that looks way zoomed in. My bad. Yes, you have a right to be here. 
There's our friend. The ones that question whether or not she was from the community. There you go. Told you. My friend from the U-Haul uh, that led the march the, against the violence. There she is. People really do be living down here and organize events themselves. can do this anytime they want in here. Literally. We had to fight for it, bro. Um, the Cub Foods got yeeted again. They tried it and they, they failed. So they're, they're trying and they, they're getting shut down every time. But every other business in here is, uh, is operating. Let's get a soul Luna vibe check, span those hearts. My chair's right here, bro. I told you, I can leave things wherever around here. It's the community. I left my chair at the Trump rally and that shit was gone in 10 minutes. Not even, I think it was 12. Hearts. Hit on Nelly like that. What's up, dude? Not much, bro. <laughs> Matt's here. Video today kind of got me back in tune in. Oh, thank God, dude. I have mine's charging, so. <laughs> nah, fish. I ain't gonna speak here. This is the community. Perfect. So I'm going to need you guys to make a full-on noise for our last comedian. 
It's not me. Ladies and gentlemen, we need you guys to make a whole lot of noise for your last meeting of the night. Bianca! As a big comedian, most of the night, like comedians. She's all comedians, yeah. Fish for that compliment, bro. Yes. 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 Yes.
shots go up sometimes. I'm about to get ready to, uh, you know, light my candles. For those of y'all who just came for jokes, you know, are not feeling like y'all want to stay here tonight and watch the candles be lit, go home. We love y'all. Thanks for coming to my neighborhood. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to have a good night. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all had fun today. But I'm outside all night. It's outside. I'm outside. And that's where I'm going to be at with my people who are going to be outside with me. And that's fine. Now, a lot of people are sick today. And I, I don't want to acknowledge them to that. And I don't want to honor that because laughing is good. It's good to laugh. It's good to feel happy sometimes. I don't have to walk around my memorial and be crying all day. I did that already. I've been doing that already. So you do that every day. This is my friend. My friend sat with me last night and brought me a sandwich because I ate nothing all day yesterday because I was mentally preparing for tonight. In my in my night, the like y'all y'all know today has been an emotional day. Cup open, back up today. It's the first of the month. Niggas get their check, so niggas gotta pay up. So fuck y'all grief is essentially the message that was brought to me. I don't know about nobody else. So fuck y'all grief, again, was essentially what happened to me. So for y'all who got to laugh today, that's a privilege. That's a, that's, that's a privilege. And it should be my right, too. It should be my privilege, my right, too. Sometimes I don't get to laugh even if I want to laugh. I, 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 I had my elder today tell me to go take a nap because I've been running around and I've been talking and I've been this and that and I've been running around and I've been outside all night before tonight. Before tonight. And my friend wanted to put down a comedy show because this is what they, they, they do their comedy show. Like I said, for those who are not going to share faith with me all night long, please go home. Please go home. Please be safe. Please be easy. Please be peaceful. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you for your least. The very least you can do is come share faith with me. Some people can't even go sh come share faith with me. This is a share. I welcome y'all here into my neighborhood. I welcome y'all here to laugh today. I welcome that, 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 that came from mine. That came from my heart. And I didn't talk to a lot of people about it. And I was, I'm going to check myself and hold myself accountable because I didn't check with all the necessary people who were still affected by having a comedy with a rally, with the, with the cup. But just understand that. It's a lot of spirits in the building today. Yeah. So it's a lot of spirits in the building today. So that means you might see somebody go up and turn up on the floor. That's, that's not even you. That's not even them. That's probably not even their real energy, but that energy had attached itself to them. So if you have the privilege to laugh and not feel with your bones and your spirit, I hugged a lady today and I felt her pain literally in my heart. Like, and every time I, I think about how I felt, I get, I get emotional because I felt her pain. I felt it, I felt it, I felt it, I felt it, I felt it. So I want to laugh today, but tonight I'm going to honor and I'm going to cry and I'm going to laugh again and I'm going to play my stage and I'm going to smoke my weed and I'm going to drink my drink and I'm going to have a good time tonight and listen to my music. But like I said, I don't want y'all to feel like it was hatred towards y'all. It was not hatred towards y'all. We want y'all to be able to laugh. But we also want y'all to be able to hold it down for us that night too. And if you can't do that, then you pussy. And that's fine, be pussy, go on, that's fine. We love you still. We love you still. But come back tomorrow too. And be like, you know, I slept good, but I want to know how did you sleep and how was the night? And did I get, you got any progress? Of course, you want to share with the community. If you have anything you want me to do, come back. It's okay. We, like I said, I want y'all safe. That's that's my priority. I want y'all safe. So maybe you pussy sometimes. I call my brother and pussy all the time sometimes. But they're going to pussy. But I like them. They are strong. Yeah, they are. They are pussy are strong. Yeah, they are. They are gripping. They are gripping. So anyway, anyway, like I'm saying, though, y'all, Southside Wildfire was outside. People was outside. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for being here. I love y'all. I love y'all. combined with a rally that was here to protest Cup Foods opening. You don't know why? I challenge you tonight, do your research. Read up. This neighborhood has a history of oppression related to Cup Foods. Black Lives Matter is a bigger movement, but they are an oppressor within that. And there's, there's a lot going on here for a lot of people that are not from here. 
You need to know. Read about it. The violence we're here for. You're here for protests. Yes, we're here to laugh. It's hard to laugh when you haven't healed. Laughter can help you, but if you're not ready, it's tragedy plus time, right? Not a lot of time has passed. I didn't buy it. I would just in front of So do your research. Do your reading. We were invited here by the neighborhood organizations that put together a rally earlier today. And they're gonna be holding it down. They're gonna be, they're gonna be looking out. They're gonna be out here every day. So come back here. Keep coming. But keep coming for the right reasons. Keep coming to support. Black Lives Matter. Sorry. Right Don't forget why we're here. Don't forget what happened here. Let's look at it. Thank you all for coming out. We are up to us in front of our eyes. We're on comedy shows. So we're black and brown. Indigenous folks, us to see keep on swimming. We can all heal and laugh in the face of the oppressor. Uh, if you leave this space, leave this space, planning to do some shit the next day that will benefit the future. On the count of three, we all say, fuck Trump. One, two, three. Fuck Trump. One, two, three. Fuck Trump. One, two, three. Fuck Trump. Go on, B. Fuck up, bro. Fuck up, bro. Fuck up, bro. That's for me. What's up? Not much, what are you doing? I'm doing good. Like, you know, that video was uh, kind of eye-opening, you know? Not that we didn't, didn't bring in more, you know, as far as the uh, Oh, yeah. It yeah, doesn't just about the captain. No. Uh, it's not before, you know? I'll come back for that. you bring that or leave? Yeah, that's mine, that's mine. We gotta go for a while. So, you on or no? What's that? No, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna stream's gone. Right. I'll be in here for a while. Just not for too much long, but. Did you want to separate? Yeah. Well, it, I'll do it on this. Whenever, so whenever you're done, yeah. We're going to walk around a little bit. Sounds good.
Uh, Jamie, yeah, this is a permanent. I think this might be permanent. Yeah. Dog's name. This is Princess. Princess? Oh. Uh -huh. Princess. 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 Oh, Princess. hi. Oh. You like your belly rub, don't you? <laughs> Just a people person. Yeah. Oh. I have a new friend now. Hell okay. Yeah. It's Kinky Princess. Okay. <laughs> Pet me good. That's why we call her Kinky Princess. It's actually not. Oh, hi. Don't call her that. No, we're not. Thank you. Y'all yeah. <laughs> one person. I know. Y'all self right. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm going to say that. Yep. So it's not, not going anywhere. Kind of like the state fair, we have roads that we can't drive on in there too. It's just one intersection. Oh, bro. Yeah. Speedway is closed, they're packing up.
So I believe that all the names get candles too now. night but then the community also reminded people that even laughter is a good medicine for grief but also don't be coming here just to find comedy um, so keep, continue coming here regardless um, but the cup foods there you, are. there you guys can see what it looks like inside there you go lights are on So it looks like in there. I don't know. I haven't even seen what it looks like in there. But they uh, tried to reopen it. And um, it's not happening. You'll have to, uh, again, look, re look into why. I don't know the right answers to that. But there's uh, many things about the cub foods that aren't good for the community. And uh, I need to look it up myself to figure out why. But there are people from the community that watch that would gladly inform you. That, oh, that's what it looks like in there. But that and the Speedway are the only two that aren't operational here in, the, in this um, intersection. The Dragon Walk. Uh, thank you very much. This, um, this restaurant is open. So this is always open. They're open for curbside pickup and delivery. The Dragon Walk, they're open. That business is open. I believe it's a barber shop. And then the businesses um, on the left side of the street on, um, well, it's not called Chicago anymore. This part of the street, but what used to be known as Chicago Avenue. They're starting to reopen on the left, but they also there's also um, residents that live on the top floors of those buildings. And 7-Eleven did buy speed. Uh, they bought 7-Eleven bought Speedway, so we're gonna have 7-Elevens here, ironically. 7-Eleven has been the convenience store of the Portland Portland protests. That 7-Eleven has been holding it down. And those guys, those workers in there were the best gas station workers I've seen. They had thousands and thousands and thousands of people come through there at a time of night where gas station workers don't want to see that many people. I mean, what, <laughs> who'd want to work for you? I mean, but they look like they were, they were, uh, like 7-Eleven workers were excited to be there. They didn't have a an attitude of not wanting to be there, at least from when I was there. And it was a good escape from uh, from the police, kind of like in Grand Theft Auto. So we're gonna have some big gulps here in Minnesota again.
Yeah, so if you have like an item of your own or like a candle you want to bring or a message or anything if you want to come here around, you want to leave something here, a memory, you can bring it. Just put it down. Spam them, let's get them get the vibe check. Get the vibe check going. So the fit. The memorial outfit for the nighttime is obviously a hat, mask, press pass, jacket. Don't wear the jacket, you gotta show uh, oh wow. Oh wow, now I can see way better. Oh shoot, I'm gonna, how do I turn it? Oh, okay. I see. I see what happened. Yep, that's what you wear. Let's check in how they're doing here. So they have people volunteering now to help out with the candles for the names. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you doing? I'm wonderful. Man, I think I got a stretch. So we have gardens in here. This looks uh, this is a community garden being built. I just kind of wonder why in other cities this didn't work. I don't know. We'd have to ask the other cities. Uh, other cities have tried. So, it's not a question I can answer. I don't know. I've been to them. The chop seemed like a great idea. I don't know what uh, different situations in different cities. Is the news showing you guys any of this in the morning news? This happens every night. That, that we don't have uh, bad uh, weather. But when we have bad weather, they bring the uh, volunteers bring tarps over and um, protect the flowers. So they'll bring tarps out and tarp up. They'll tarp this. I believe um, the names are permanent now on the street. But all the flowers and everything, they'll bring tarps. Here's the outside. So this is where the tents are, the medical tents. No one's at them right now, so I can film here. No one's here. That's where we keep the medical tents. But that's on the on the wall of this business. Oh, lock down. What's your dog's name? Lilith. Lilith. Hi, Lilith. Oh, I'm sorry, it's probably the light. I didn't even know I had a light on. Sorry, Lilith. Just to everyone. Oh, I'm a little nervous. She's protective. It's okay, Lilith. I'll walk around. Thank you. The dog's a guard dog. Don't come near. It's good, though.
the dog's the dog's guard doggy. Willis. The street. Yep. Yep. Not not just yet. Okay. Well, let me when they get here, of course. Do what you do. I'm ordering the lift right now. Sure. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, it's chill. Lighting all the candles. Just, just come and. But you want me to bring you, help you bring it over there? Uh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The guy on that bike though, he's come through here a few times. Thank you. Nope. So much. No, it's all good. <laughs> It's not that much, trust me. I've carried more. I'm just waiting for her. She's gathering her stuff and then we'll walk together.
Look at the good boy. A good boy. Way and just start to talk to someone quick. And we've had a stage in here. Like that's where the stage was, too. Oh, wow. We've had a stage. We've had a barrier. We had a damn people guarding things. Like, man, it's been a whole story arc here in Minneapolis. Minneapolis has been its own story, but there's always the bigger picture. No problem. What's that now? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Pretty cool view. While well, we're waiting. Candle on every name. There are multiple candles on every name. Thank you very much, Bradley, for um, your donation. Mill City replicas. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. I'm just looking at his name. Thank people while we're doing it. Jane, thank you. Carmen, Margaret, Kelly, Jesse, thank you very much. You ready? Rebecca, Robert, Lacey, Josh, thank you. I'll just write, these are for obvious, you let you know about it later. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Yeah, you too. Take care. Oh. Got the candle. Um, the candle and stuff? The garden.
<laughs> they get confused too sometimes down here. Yeah. Yeah. Like half Alright. Why? You wanna put it out that barrier over there? Yeah. Alright. Thank you so much. What's your name? Andrew. Andrew, thank you, Andrew. I really appreciate your help. No problem. Some of the coronavirus stuff. We got hand washing stations, like I said. Oh, thank you so much. No problem. Uh oh, hold on. Uh -oh. I think the. Oh, hold on. Let me put this down quick. Yeah, the box is opening up. See if we can have a bag or something for us. The box is gonna be more good. That was close. Yeah, they almost all just fell out. Damn. Thank you for saving. <laughs> no problem. God damn. Let me see how many I can fit in my bag. Okay. I'll run up there and see if there's a garbage bag or something I can okay. get. Okay. Thank you back. so much. No problem. Yeah, it wasn't good. The box ripped. Picture while I'm here too. Let me go see if I can find her a garbage bag thing. Karen's in the chat. I'm not even, I'm sorry, I'm not able to watch the chat too much. There's actually stuff going on here. I haven't been able to look at the chat too much. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find one, dude. It's gonna be a tight fight. They used to have stations and stuff all set up in here, similar to what we see uh, or saw in the park in Portland. Like people setting things up. I don't think we're gonna have uh, materials like we used to. I don't know. 
don't know. Let's see if that station has some bags or some shit. It's buckets. <laughs> I could give her a bucket. That's not really mine to take and give. No, I couldn't use those buckets anyways. Fox News' bucket was still here. Like I said, they got a map at every entrance. Fox News' bucket was still here. We could use theirs. Oh, man. This is just, this is what they were spray painting in the street. I need my saw, one of my softball bags. It's a backpack, I don't use it. I had some extra softballs in it. If she's still there, I'll let her, she can have it. I don't use it. some dirt in it from the softball fields but I think that might be her uh, thing though her uber might be here I don't know at least we tried and after this guys I'm gonna actually get out get up out of here it's cool though I think we I, every time I come to something I don't know why I just, something just told me to come here today I haven't been down here at nighttime in a while I think she's packing up the, the car. Uh, I think she'll need the bag, but at least we tried. Oh, I see all the stuff on there still. Let's see if we can hurry. Oh, you found a box? I got a bag if you want that too. It's a backpack. Yeah, it's my it's my back when I it's a softball backpack I don't use anymore. Okay. It'd probably be better if you can cab awesome. it. Thank you so much. No problem. Oh I appreciate you so much, Andrew. You went far and beyond. <laughs> oh thank you. You're yeah. an amazing human being. No problem. Yeah, that'd probably be way better than the best. Yeah, for sure. Alright, thank, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Oh, ventilator. I haven't seen one of those since Portland. Trash, trash, recycle.
All right, guys. All right, allergy shit going bad. <clears throat> it's weather. It's gone from like I've gone all over the place. And weather. Everything's getting candles. I'm putting candles on everything. If it exists, throw a candle on it. No problem. You know, putting, people are putting candles all on the street. It's gonna be cool if you're an independent photographer, you're watching this and you're okay with climbing up on things, not suggesting that's a good idea. We've seen it done. Uh, we'd probably have a good aerial shot for you to come down here and get one with all the candles lit. But that's not me. You know I don't go up there. Arnold, Arnold went up there. I'm good, I say 10 toes down. That was way too high. Way too high up. <laughs> no such thing as too many sanctuary candles. He's asking anybody in here um, that are just in here to light candles, and then they're doing it. So you're just here, you're gonna like help light some candles. What's that? Oh, my bad. All right, guys. I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna go light a couple candles myself and now I'm gonna get out of here. And then probably be back again tomorrow. Um, there's an event in Egan, Minnesota that I'm gonna be at tomorrow first and then I'll probably come here straight from there. So I'll thank you guys for watching. We had a table set up for my the benches, but it's gonna be it. From Minneapolis, from Mercado Media, please follow. If you haven't yet, share the video. Appreciate you guys. There still is a big, strong message of peace in the country. Don't let the news and them tell you that it's anything other than what you're watching. You can, people can look at the same thing, come out with two different opinions, that's fine. But, I mean, I'm walking around here with a mask on. There's no ventilators, no hard hats, no helmets, you know. It's just, it's just me. I would love to. I'm gonna end my stream though before I do. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Like I said, I'm gonna go watch. I'm gonna go light some candles.